<laughs> we, we won't forget this course at all. Uh, my foursome definitely won't ever forget this course. The plan was to play one last game on a nice course before the weather changed. Unfortunately for Zach Bornhoff's group, as they approached the 17th tee in Evergreen, the course had an unexpected hazard. We were kind of surrounded uh, by the elk, like there wasn't uh, it wasn't really a simple way out. Bornhoff, who was riding passenger in his golf cart, said he and his friends tried not to make any dramatic movement as they made their escape. I'm like, hey, let's just keep it slow. And like a second after I said that, it was like, game on. <laughs> and he came just directly at us. Jerry got me, did he? A live picture taken by one of Bornhoff's friends captured audio from the moment a bull elk pierced Bornhoff's side. And that's when he stuck me right in my right side and then came into where my kidney would have been. Bornhoff says his kidney was broken into three pieces. Denver Parks and Recreation, which oversees the course, said park rangers and staff alert golfers to avoid specific holes or leave their balls when elk are on the course. The city says similar injuries haven't happened in recent years. Uh, look, it's definitely a <laughs> special situation and, and uh, you know, it just happened to be me. <laughs> Bornhoff says he hopes what happened to him will motivate others to learn what to do in similar situations. In the meantime, he's using that humor to help him recover until he returns to days of better sleep, driving, and playing with his seven kids again. Uh, a lot of things I can't do, but the one thing I can do is breathe, and I'm happy about that. Jordan Chavez, 9 News. Bornhoff says a lot of people have reached out to him in support, but he's still waiting for a call from Jason Day or Phil Nicholson. <laughs>